and welcome to this Wednesday upload. It's very exciting because I've got my red lip on, I've got my red cardi on, I'm feeling festive, it's only October. <laughs> it's not for you, for you it's November watching this, but when I'm filming it, it's October. Um, but we're going to go and start this new series of videos that I'm going to do for you on a Wednesday of Christmas shopping. I mean, how exciting is that? If you don't love Christmas, there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm only joking. But yeah, we're we're starting off with a bang for this first episode. We're going to Home Bargains and B and M just to look at their Christmas stuff. I'm not going to look at everything in the shop. I'm going to look at just their Christmas stuff, which is why I'm combining the two shops into one. Um, but you're going to have them all, you're going to have, not today, but in other videos you're going to have the range, you're going to have home scents, you're going to have garden centres, I'm going to do a supermarket one for you, and if there's any in particular that you really would like me to look at, because I've got November and December to do this for you, then list it in the comments below and I'll see if I can head there for you um, at some point. But without further ado, let's go and see what they've got in for Christmas! I mean, I like this because it's gonks, but look, it just hangs down because they're too heavy for it. Bad design. One forty-nine. <laughs> Look at this that I've seen. Put it on the top of the tree, and all the ribbons hang down. Five ninety-nine. I absolutely love these. There's a green one as well. I think I love the green one more. Look at it. Oh, it's adorable. Shell for dreams. Yes, please. Right. Who loves nutcrackers? Because I can't stand them. These big ones are twenty-five. They just freak me out. I mean, look at their faces. These are $7.99. And then the little ones are $3.99. This is a cute little set for $2.99. This would look lovely in the middle of your table at 
I think that's a really good price. Look how lovely that is. I love that. This is really good. Oh, focus, thank you. Tea light tree for $4.99. That's a really good price. And then you've got these mold wine candles for $5.99. I imagine they'd be quite nice as well. I really do like that, but it won't fit on my table. I saw these in here before, they're $1.99. They're one of these scent ones, but look how deep that is. That'd be really hard to get the wax melt out of, wouldn't it? Oh, someone smashed something. $7.99 for a weird bobbly tree. Got all your sets of lights here as well. £35 for $1,500, that's not bad. We've got some of these we've put outside. And we've got a snowflake for $7.99, that's a bargain. They're nice shooting stars. Let's see if I can get a closer look for you. They're $12.99. I do need some crackers. Buy two for £10. That's really good. So there's six in a box. Whoa, everything's going to fall down at me. What have we got? These are what's in them. Mm, not bad. When me and my sister were little girls, we used to get a bag this big, full of presents from my nan and granddad. We were really spoiled. But you can get this for 99p. You could put all your presents in there to take round to someone. We've got all your gift bags. I like this one. 89p. The Robin one is nice. Giant gift bag with tag and tie, 149. Brinch. Loads of bags. I've kept all mine from last year. Look at the penguin. That's really cute. We're going to head into B&M. Look at this stag, £50. That's a really good price. I like that. Father Christmas, £6. I like it in the cool white as well. We've got a star for £8. And another star for £15. What we got around here? Oh, these are all the lights. Oh, blue. Does anyone have blue lights on their tree? Or multicoloured? I like all trees, to be honest. All of the lights. Got these nice reefs for £25. All the berries on. Right, let's go and find some more. What's the obsession with, like, letter things? Because I personally don't like it very much. Let me know. And I don't like this, all the star sign stuff either. Like the Cancer stuff, the Aquarius, Capricorn, I'm not into all that. That's not me. A long hot water bottle for £10 for us spoonies. Or a little one for six. But again, initials. What is it with initials? More. These are £9, these ones. Oh, look, you could have a rabbit one. More initials. It's getting really... Well, more star signs. No. 
Just no. Oh, I do love the little dinosaur hot water bottle. How adorable is that for a little child? But I don't know if you should give children hot water bottles. Check that one, probably not. And they've got a gonk hot water bottle there for eight pounds. More initial stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what we got over here. This is Poppy's sort of stuff. I'm looking for her stocking. I think she's got, I don't think she's got the reindeer. That's quite funny. Um, she's got a bath light. She loves her bath light. She's got a projector. She's got a light bulb. What hasn't she got? I don't know. She's got a lava lamp. Oh, someone thinks that's funny. Oh, you laugh and you lose. Carry out tasks without laughing. This is what I should get, but I don't think any of the family will be able to do it. Talk about the importance of sun protection while twerking. Hold your nose and yodel. Try and make yourself as spherical as possible. Yeah, that would be a good game, but I don't think it would last two seconds with our lot. They'd just laugh straight away. <laughs> Try and be a tiny ass. Don't know what that's about. <laughs> don't be a dick dick. There's loads of... Uh, Oh, Poppy might like some card games because she plays card games with her friends as the traitors there, but that's eight pounds. Good grief. Matchbox quiz gift set, three pounds. Is that this one? Movie and TV. I don't think they'd know much about that, to be honest. Say what you see. Movie edition. I think she might like that one with her friends, actually. I think that would be quite funny. Calm your tits. Honestly, <laughs> but why are they so expensive? Like, card games used to be two quid. What's happened to it? Oh well. I'll remember that one in case I don't see anything else with Pops. All your gift sets. That would be good for Holly. She uses Simple. What is it? 10 .99. Oh, there's a little one for 5 .99. It's got wipes, a mask and facial wash. That's quite nice. $5.99. Hmm. I remember that. Oh, this is good look. Face and eye trio collection. Sheet masks. How much are you? $6.99. Oh, you only get three, so that's quite pricey actually. They've got so many gift sets in here. Oh, fe festive pamper set. You've got a foot mask, a sheet mask, and a hand mask for $3.99. I'll remember that because I'm going to have a. Um, a pamper evening with Ange and Chloe so I might well get to three of those packs nearer the time Harry Potter yes please golden snitch bath visa 350 would Holly like that would it turn the bath gold probably bubble bath I can't get in the bath so there's no point me having that stranger things bath fizzers three pound why is everything so expensive is this me? Is it me? <laughs> Am I just cheap? I don't know. But everything seems to be either initialed or a star sign or expensive. So I got one of these, if you remember, from Mark's mum and dad. They've got the white glass. Look at that. That's quite light, actually. Oh. We've got a reindeer jar. Got one of those. I love this mug as well. How much is this? I've probably got enough Christmas mugs, four pounds. I love that with all the, the little candy canes on. I really like this one, but it's really heavy. What else we got? Tea towels. Robin's cute. I don't like these mugs where you put a biscuit in. I mean, who's got a biscuit that small? Not me. I want a big biscuit. <laughs> oh look, they've got the little jars to match, two pound fifty. How cute is that? They're on the top as well. Or well, they've got a uh, like Christmas. But I like the candy cane one. 
I saw these last year. These are nice if you're doing a cheese board. And these are good place settings, look, with little gonks. Can you see them? So, hang on, there we go. They're gonks and they've got a slit in the top for you to put the name of who's sitting where, because that's always a debate, isn't it? Over Christmas, cake tin liners. These are good. If you wanted to make um, cho your own chocolates for people, it's much cheaper, because you can buy a bar of chocolate in Audi for 30p. These look a bit like sheep to me, though. Does that look like a sheep to you? Or is that my eyes? Um, but these are £2.50 for the large ones. Look at the gonk. Imagine getting a gonk Christmas chocolate. I actually really like that. But then I'd have to buy some gift bags to put the chocolates in. You know, I don't think I'm getting it today, but it's an option for the future. I have to remember it. Oh, I do need some of these, though. Some tall cans. How many did you get in there? Two. Oh, four. Oh, that's not bad. And they're green or red. Well, I do a, a woodland theme, so the green ones would be perfect. I'm going to get those. And they've got these in the twisted ones as well. Gingerbread reed diffuser. I've been very nice. Have I? Have I been very nice this year? I think I have. I think I have. I'm sure I have. Doorway sets. I'll go down the other aisle in a minute. Oh, look at that conch cushion. Twelve pounds. And there's a stag one. Love the blankets. I want to get some blankets for the lounge. Some special Christmas ones. I can't see any that I'm liking at the moment. Now I'm really considering this for the hall. This is a pre-lit two-foot snowy tree battery operated 58 lights look how amazing that is for 15 pounds i absolutely love that that's so nice more creepy nutcrackers if you're into that thing oh look it's a pink gonk holly doesn't really do gonks otherwise i'd get her one she would like that <laughs> four pounds how cute is that i think that's adorable i want to get it for a stocking she could have it up all year but I'm not going to because she'll probably think I'm mad well she knows I'm mad oh look these are nice and recyclable what's in them golf tees notebooks spinning top whatever that is for salt isn't it a dice and a tree they don't really grip me but I like the fact that you can recycle them these are cute aren't they but you'd have to take all these glittery bits off before you could recycle them and who's going to do that on Christmas Day you know we've got other things to do <gasps> a pink penguin I mean not that I just love pink I like anything but mushroom that's broken little gonks little gonks there's another gonk there more creepy nutcrackers and a partridge in a pear tree and there's a massive pink reef or a gold one whatever floats your boat the light up parcels anyone got those pink fairies not fairies yes is it or is it an angel an angel 10 pounds or a pink santa they like their pink don't they everything's very pink holly and louie are going to do their own tree this year so i'll ask her what the theme is because they've got plenty of stuff in here oh look you could have mini crackers they're very cute what have they got in? Mystery calculator, tweezers. That's not bad. That's not bad. Five pounds for how many? Six, or I'd need two packs because I've got ten Christmas Day. But I do like that. I'm not getting crackers today, but I'll bear that in mind. They've got these as well. Twelve for five pounds, and it's just got toot in it, really. That's why they're cheaper. Toot. Toot, toot, toot. Gift bags, boxes. Do you do Christmas Eve boxes? We do. We certainly do. We started the trend and we love it. I love Christmas Eve. Right. I think that's it down here. Navy blue. Oh, more creepy nutcrackers. Well, they're very Harry Potter, aren't they? Look at those. Oh, 
I like that. And I like that one. I really like that one. I wouldn't go on my tree. Not on my tree, my creek nutcrackers. Santa, please leave my presents here. Eight pounds. That's cute. You know we've got to try these. Oh, look at that. Mm. 18 pounds. What's this one do? I've set them all off now. They're both going. Which one do you prefer, the red or the white? Oh, they're very funky, aren't they? Oh, that is so cute. Not sure how much they are, but they're cute. I must say it stops saying everything's cute. Oh, snow globes. Gonk snow globe. Five pounds. I want to get one for Holly's stocking. Look at these. Oh, they're adorable. You've got sweetie decorations. You've got more place settings here. They're very nice. Very nice. Oh, try me. Come on then, if we must. Another one that's very cool. I do like it. What's this one? Try me. <laughs> They're very cool, aren't they? So who thinks I need this for the shelf of dreams? Ten pounds. I'm in love with it. They're very jeweled, aren't they? That's very pretty. How much are you? Three pounds, but all your things are falling off. Baby's first Christmas. Do you like them gonks? So who gets Christmas Eve pyjamas? Because we do, but I get them from Primark because I like the quality in Primark of their pyjamas. Right, I'm home after getting stuck in a traffic jam for a long time. I even started eating my lunch because we were just at a standstill and I thought, I'll just sit here and eat my lunch. Um, <laughs> right, I'm gonna show you what I got from each place. How am I gonna do this? I didn't get that much. I did not get that much. That's B&M, let me split them up. I've got both receipts here so I can tell you how much the things are as well um, as I go along. So let's start with home bargains. Um, Santa's glass set, that was 3 99 This is for Mark for his Christmas Eve box. And it's Santa's IPA. So it's this beer glass that I think is really nice. And then inside is, let me go if I can show you, Santa's IPA. It's pale ale, and that's what Mark loves. And this was three ninety nine. I thought that was such a good price. And Holly's doing Mark's Christmas Eve box, so I phoned her and I said, "I've seen this for Dad. Do you want me to get it?" She said, "Yeah, I'll give you the money." So got that for Mark. Right. If you're Mark's mum and dad, don't look at this point because you'll ruin your surprise. I got these for their stocking. These were ninety nine p. They're the chocolate wafers. They're filled with chocolate. They're supposed to be really nice. So hazelnut and cocoa. I can hear Artie scrapping because he wants to come out. You'll have to wait a minute, Art. I'm doing a haul. Then you can come out, all right? <coughs> What's the next thing? Poppy, if you're watching, stop watching now. Z Selection Pack, which is this. And that was $1.99. I think this is a bargain. This is for Poppy for her stocking and look at all those sweets she loves different sweets and american sweets and all sort of things and there's bubble gum in there as well so if you've got don't buy this if you've got little children because it's bubble gum but yeah 199 and i think that's really nice i think she's going to love that she can take that back to uni with her so that was 199 um chubba chups cola stick how much was that 15p it's like a little um cola sweet and that's for her Christmas Eve box. 
I have it all written down, I promise you. I Even to the one sweet, I will write it down so I know where everything goes. What's next? Tic Tacs, here they are. Poppy loves Tic Tacs, so they're for her Christmas Eve box as well. So I need to separate them actually because I, I have different bags as well. This is how organised I am. I have separate bags on top of my wardrobe and I label them Poppy's Christmas Eve box, Holly's Christmas Eve box, Poppy's stocking, Holly's stocking. That's what I label so I know where everything goes. Right, what's the next thing? Seedless grapes. That's nothing to do with Christmas, but I've got some grapes. How much were they? 179 not bad. Done the chocolate rolls. Uh, bath salts, here they are. This is for Holly's stocking. So she loves bath salts. She often comes here for a bath, even if she's at Louis. Um, and these are the ones to help aching muscles because she's a gym girl. <laughs> she loves her gym and these are the ones that she likes and they were £2.75. So I think that's quite a reasonable price for a stocking present, don't you think? I think it is. Um, easy peelers, that's nothing to do with Christmas. Well it is actually because you have oranges at Christmas, don't you? How much were the oranges? One twenty-nine. Because I, ne I actually needed some berries, but they didn't have any, apart from the grapes. So, and they're not berries, are they? I digress. We all know I digress all the time. Now, this is one of my favourite purchases of the whole time out today. This, look at this Christmas tree glass. This was £1.49. It's glass. And it's got a screw top lid with a straw. £1.49. I just think that's adorable, don't you? I absolutely love that. I'd be well happy if I got one of them in my Christmas Eve box for my Bacardi and Coke on a weekend. I'd be well happy. <laughs> £1.49. So that's her a stocking present. Um, what else have we got? Guess what game? This one. Festive guess what game. This was £2.49. And it didn't have a price when I looked at it, but I thought it can't be more than like a couple of quid and it was £2.50, so that's fine. It says, can you guess what the other players are describing? So you pick out a card, see what the category is. You've got like film and TV, song, location, action, object, person, character and book. And then you can like, if you've picked out a song, you can hum the tune um, or you can act something out or you can describe what is on the card without saying the words and I thought that is a good little table game we like to play games at the table after we've eaten like to let your food get down and socialize more before everyone collapses in the armchair and falls asleep so this is one a good one for that so I got that at £2.49 <coughs> and then the last thing from Home Bargains were these for Poppy's um christmas eve box she loves her mints so i got a peppermint and a spearmint and they were 79p each so that's christmas eve <laughs> she's got a lot of mints at the moment for a christmas eve box and a cola stick but there we are we'll improve on that i promise so that was home bargains let's go on to b&m they just i was really impressed with both of them i thought they had beautiful christmas things in and I really loved the Gonk Christmas sign um, in B&M for £10. But one, I don't think I've got room for it because I've got that much stuff on my shelf for dreams. <laughs> and two, it's £10. Um, which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't too bad. But when you're trying to buy 100 Christmas presents, you don't need a £10 Gonk sign. You, you get me drift. Right, green dinner candles. Where are you? Where are you? It's like supermarket sweep. £2.50 for four. They're really pretty twisted design. So like I've said before, I have a forest theme going on on my Christmas Day table. I have had for the last few years and I still enjoy it. I still love it. So I want to get some like brass candle holders, four brass candle holders to go with these in. So I will be looking out in the charity shops for those. But yeah, I thought £2.50 for four candles was good. Then, what's next? B&M Flexi Loop Bag. Well, that's the bag that I bought to put the stuff in because I didn't take enough bags. Um, 
And then I got, so actually, Chloe and Luke, if you don't want to see what Martha's got for Christmas, you can skip this bit, okay? <laughs> and Ange, if you don't want to see what Maisie's got for Christmas, skip this bit. Let me give you a clue. Oh, is that the noise you make after you eat these? <laughs> this is Maisie's. This is a sprout. And I think that's the noise you make after you eat them. And this is Martha's little, because I thought it was smaller for her to get in her mouth, whereas Maisie can fit that one. So yeah, that's their Christmas presents done. They were £2.50 each. Um, shortbread, I got, yeah, I was just gonna check then. I got two of these oh, for the neighbors, pound each. Aren't they lovely? I'll show you the biscuits inside, look, shortbread biscuits. Pound each. I just thought that was, that's perfect. That's all I want to spend. No, no offence, neighbours, but that's all I want to spend. But I also have to get a lot of biscuits for, like, relatives and things like that. So I thought I'll go back and get some more of them nearer the time. Uh, festive felt, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This was £2.50. Now, I felt festive felt I felt we needed a mouse a Christmas mouse to go with our autumn mouse do you know with Matilda in the bedroom if you don't then you have to watch the uh, vlog where she came from I have no idea where that is she needed a festive friend oh my goodness how amazing now in a garden centre right because this is made of felt look at her little tail as well in a garden centre, this would be nine ninety nine. I guarantee it because I've been to garden centres and I can see how much their felt things are. This was two pound fifty in B and M, so I suggest there was only like one or two left. You rush to B and M and you get yourself a festive mouse. Even right, even you could attach her to a gift bag as a little added extra. How lovely would that be if you saw that hanging off of a little gift bag and you knew that was for you? I'd be so happy. Things like that make me very happy. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Right, we need to come up for a name for the Christmas mouse. I haven't thought of one yet. Um, but in the comments, names for the Christmas mouse, please. What's next on the list? This is for Holly's... Holly, don't watch my videos. Holly's... Uh, Christmas Eve box and it's a radiant rose sheet mask I'm gonna have to write all these down on my list in a minute otherwise I will forget what's next on the list advent calendar for Mark now Mark requested I said what advent calendar do you want this year he said a chocolate one so I just got the basic Cadbury it was £1.99 reduced from £2.50 already and we haven't even had December yet so we haven't even had November so I got that for Mark. Right, and then the last thing I got was for Holly Stocking. How, well, they have a sack that they've had since they were a baby. It's got their name on it. How I'm going to get this in the sack, I don't think I will. I think it's going to go separately. But it's this gorgeous pink, blush pink cushion. It's the same both sides. And it's so soft. It was £12, which is quite pricey for a, a stocking item. But I get a couple of pricier items for their stocking and this is one of them because her one is as flat as a pancake i made her bed this morning and it's literally this flat compared to <laughs> this flat this full i should say so that i'll let it stand back a bit and you can see the size of it that is for holly's stocking and that my lovelies is all i got say all i got i got quite a lot there didn't i so I'm going to now go through my phone and cross off various presents that I've bought here. Work out how much Holly owes me because I had to go to the pet shop as well for some stuff for the rats and guinea pigs. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this first Christmas shop with me. So remember, I need names for my little festive mouse. And think of some nice, pretty festive names. I've just thought of a name for her actually, but it's not festive. Let me see if anyone gets it in the comments because someone got my uh, Matilda name before. Let me see. The name I'm thinking of 
it's not festive but it's a pretty name let me see if you get it in the comments or not if you don't i'll let you know <laughs> i will let you know um right okay don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and i will see you all next time whenever that may be take care my love please Mwah. happy christmas <laughs>